wow, the Museum of Chocolate is everything I hoped it would be. A whole museum full of chocolate. Hmm, <laughs> I really respect the artist's bold use of nougat. And I really respect that I'm gonna eat that thing. <laughs> Step away, please. Our chocolate art is a dessert for the eyes only. Huh? What? We're surrounded by chocolate and we can't eat any of it? You may have one of these teensy tiny samples. <laughs> you people are teasing normal folk with your riches. It's not fair. Let's go! Uh, wait! There is a one way to get more chocolate. <gasps> An entire semi sweet statue will go to the winner of the Chocolate Games! <gasps> the Chocolate Games? Is that a winner take all battle where the last man standing eats the sweets? Yes! Sign here! Finally, this guy is making sense! That statue is mine! Not just yours, okay. ours! What are you doing? Hey! hey. Come on! In the game, you will each have a chocolate bar strapped to a helmet. You must knock your opponent's chocolate bar off, and the last chocolate head standing prevents the statue. Fine, whatever. Let's get going. More chocolate, less talk a lot. Huh? Aloha. Darren, what are you doing here? Go buy your old snack. Why buy what I can win? Huh? And I'm going to win. You might as well go home, losers. Yeah, Darren, one of us is definitely taking home that statue. Pinatas on the first try. <laughs> That's impossible. Time to adjust our strategy. These beefy bruisers can beat any one of us, but if we unite our efforts, we could still be a formidable team. Our only chance is to work together. Then we'll just share the prize. What? No! I don't want to share! Hush. We're doing this. Now let's make like toffee and stick together, okay? Okay. The Chocolate Games are about to begin. Play fair, but let the chances be always on your side. <laughs> Remember the toffee. And stick together, okay? Oh well, no chocolate for me. <laughs> Their buff bodies are no match for our superior tactics. <laughs> Together! Mm. Ah, I'm going for it! Ginger, no! Hold the line! Ginger, no! No! no. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and we keep by himself! Oh well. Good game, Ben. Do you remember? 
remember that. And now it's actually happening! <laughs> Wait, let me get a little closer. Room. Team Ruining Ginger. Darren's cheating. I hit his chocolate and it didn't even move. You're a liar and a sore loser, too. Hey, bogey at our six, sweetie pie. Copy that, sugar plum. That statue is mine. Darren, how are you still in this? Raw talent, I suppose. Myself. Show me to my winnings! <gasps> Weird! Out of all those tough players, I never thought the toughest one would be Darren. Why is it all chocolatey? I didn't hit Darren. Oh, no, Angela, you hit him. But his chocolate stayed on anyway. <gasps> yep, this is helmet chocolate. Something weird is going on here. Our plan worked. <gasps> the glue on your helmet kept your chocolate on, and you defeated the suckers who thought this was fair. <laughs> <gasps> they never had a chance against our cheating. So you get the statue, but don't forget your side of the bargain. You promised me Nougat Lisa. Yes, of course, fair is fair, except when it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was right and nobody believed me. Sorry, Ginger. They are not getting away with this. The Chocolate Games are now over. Congratulations to our talented and fair winner, Darren! Stop the ceremony! That boy is a cheater! Oh. And cheaters never win! They don't believe us. We have to show them. Uh, uh, no. uh. Enough! Activate Choco Security! <gasps> All right. Let's candy dance. You don't have to be a scientist to know that's not how a candy cane reacts when it hits soft chocolate. <laughs> no! You, you see, I, I can explain! He made me do it! Oh. Run away! The mom isn't listening! Oh. Run! Chocolate oh. <laughs> for We brought chocolate to the people. Yeah. Too bad after everyone split up the statue, we have about the same amount of chocolate we could have just gotten in the beginning. Oh. At least 
we made sure everyone was playing fair. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You got it, that's Ginger. right. <laughs> This time, Sugar City. Oh, no, a medical procedure. Ooh, apologize. Easy, Hank. Before we pick a game, we have to pick who picks the game using the wheel of choosing. Yeah, I called up some spinning. impossible nerd games that nobody understands. Worry not, my friends. This time I've got something new. Uh. A mysterious game I found in an old curio shop. The cashier said it just appeared on a shelf one day. Then he cackled, which I take to mean that the game is a lot of fun. It's called Welcome to the Dungeon. I don't know, Ben. Are you sure we won't need graph paper for this? Relax! I know I've made picks that you didn't love before, but this game is going to be completely different! What did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh, no. I think we're in the game. Well, that's just preposterous. You're welcome <laughs> to the dungeon, the game where you must survive a perilous world and defeat the diamond dust dragon. Four <laughs> doomed to six players. Who's preposterous now, Ben? <laughs> Hold on. We were just supposed to play a board game. But now, you're saying that we have to go on some fantasy adventure and fight a dragon? I mean, that sounds amazing! Yeah! Ultimate family game How's night! How's the game go, Dungeon Dude? First, you must choose your character card. Neat! I'm a noble knight. An archer's thief, Misfits. A wizard! Your wish is my command. Fearsome barbarian. Nice! You guys look great, but get ready for me because I'm... The Sheltered Princess? Oh. Nice dress, lady. Uh, huh? Whoa! <gasps> okay, wow. Now I will explain the rules of... We can figure it out as we go along. Let's just start playing, right, guys? Very well. Enjoy your... Game. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing, I'm laughing, we're having fun. Oh, this is gonna be great. collected on your journey. What is an amulet? Did anyone manage to find the three crystals of color? The leather of leveling up? The pickle of power? What are you talking about? We didn't know about any of that. I see. Well, this is going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. 
We're not dragon fried. <gasps> but we're back at the start of the game. Wh wh what happened? Uh, you were defeated by the diamond dust dragon. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll get him next time. See you on the next game night, stone guy. How do we get out of here? You simply have to beat the dragon. And unless you do, you're trapped forever! <laughs> ben, you are never allowed to pick a game ever again! What? There's no way I could have known about this. Sure there is. It's all explained in the official game room. Ah. Inventory management? Character statistics? Upgrade tokens? Oh, I should have known. This is one of Ben's super complicated, impossible nerd games that no one understands. Ah. Uh, I mean, I mean, okay, okay. I heard about Welcome to the Dungeon. It's a legendary nerd game no one ever beat. I thought that was because no one was up to the challenge. No. It's because everyone who ever played got trapped inside. Mm. How could you do this to me? Yeah, what were you thinking? Ah. Oh. Great game, Ben. No way, Everybody ben. calm down. I can defeat the dragon for you, OK? I'm good at games like this. I like them. So you just sit back and let me fix everything. What did you do? He broke a major rule of Welcome to the Dungeon. This game is for two to six players, not one player. If you break a major rule, you become a cave crab. It happens to everyone, eventually. <laughs> what are we gonna do? No one's as good at games as Ben. <laughs> Hey guys, I ordered a bucket of sludge three days ago. It says it was delivered, but I didn't Oh, hello, where is everybody? Oh, this must be one of them family game nights I've heard about. Ben? Ginger? Hello? Oh, maybe later. Oh, huh? Oh no, Jeremy, you too? Huh? Wait, 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 where am I? We're trapped in a game, and the only way out is to beat it. And the rules are really confusing. Also, Ben is a crab now. No! Trapped? Trapped? No! I can't be trapped! A germ needs space to spread! Then help us figure out the difference between backup mana and reserve magic. Except you can't because this whole stupid thing is impossible! Well, if I had to guess, I'd say backup mana lets you cast more spells and reserve magic lets you cast uh, bigger spells, maybe? Yeah. That kinda almost makes sense. Yeah, I'm good at rules. I had to learn the rules of the big people world, even the crazy ones like toilet flushing. Pickles of power. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any of that, but we have something better. A good understanding of this game's rules. Ha! No one understands this game. That's why it's so challenging. Prepare for your dragony doom. Wait, pause. Rule violation. The dragon cannot roar and slam its tail in one turn. That is considered two separate actions. Good point. Dragon, do it right. Ah, uh, rule violation. You can't attack the sheltered princess yet because of all the shelter. Yeah, all right, fine. Rule violation. I cast lightning at level three. Rule that violation. Was a diamond dust rule dragon. Violation. Rule violation. Technology. Rule violation. Enough of this! You're making this not fun! Dragon! Blast them! Rule violation! What? What's now? This is a game where you find
fight a dragon, not a dragon and a dungeon defender. So this is a rule violation of one of the major rules of this game. And you know what happens to people who break the major rules? No! I hate when I don't win! I don't want to play anymore! <laughs> Did I save everyone with my knightly prowess? Not at all, Ben. Ah, it wasn't impossible. All it took was some thinking and memorization. Yeah, I almost had a good time. <laughs> almost. Well, that's nice to hear, because I'm still in charge of family game night. And I have a few more games I want to try. <laughs> I'm a score, you're in my way. That's too bad is what I say. Kicking a ball and singing like opera stars? What are you doing? <laughs> See, an aria is an opera solo. Ow! We're playing opera soccer! It's the same as regular soccer. But when you play, you have to sing. What a strange idea for a game. Yep, me and Angela invented it to celebrate our genius plan. See, Angela wanted to go to the opera next week, and I wanted... <clears throat> to go to the soccer game that's on the same day. So we compromised and got tickets to both. That's not a compromise. A compromise is when both people give something up. Great couples compromise. We are a great couple. It's a compromise. Guys, a little help here? Tom, you and Angela really work as a couple. I knew you'd make it to this major relationship moment. Thank you, Hank. Wait, what major relationship moment? Your anniversary, of course. Yep, it's right here on my calendar. I can't wait to see the amazing gift you give Angela. Lucky girl. Oh no, this is bad. I forgot our anniversary! <gasps> I don't know what to get Angela for our anniversary, but if it's not great, she's gonna be really mad. If you want great, get a prank call kit for my favorite podcast! Ginger, my relationship is on the line. I think she might get me this really cool one-of-a-kind soccer jersey, so I have to get her something just as good. Do you think she'd like six heart-shaped potato sculptures? No, uh, Tom, you gotta think, okay? Is there any subtle hints that she may have dropped? Any clues at all about what she might want? I wish I had these limited edition opera glasses. Check out these limited edition opera glasses. I like that billboard because it's for limited edition opera glasses, which is something I want. I think she mentioned some opera glasses once. Uh. <gasps> That's them! The perfect gift! Oh no, they're sold out online? Hey, look! It says there's one pair left in town! Oh, you got this, Tom. Aha! Hey, it's not like people are gonna be lining up to get opera glasses! Yikes! We have got to find a way through this crowd. A good gift for my girlfriend depends on it. Hey, look! The saleswoman! Hi! Hey, over here! Calm down, people! The last pair of rare opera glasses will be here soon! So, please stay calm! Stay calm! The delivery truck, I see it! Out of the way, everybody! <laughs> what do you want? If the kitchen is flooding, I fix it next week. Please, landlord. I really need those glasses. I see. 
You mean these glasses? <laughs> yes. So stylish, so classy, so fun. This is an anniversary emergency. I'll pay you. I don't need your money. I overcharge you as it is. Hmm, say now, are these tickets to the sold out soccer game? My lady love is a soccer fanatic. To make her happy, perhaps I could trade you. I wish I had those limited edition opera glasses. Oh. Welcome to your anniversary dinner. Something that's been planned for a while and certainly wasn't thrown together at the last minute. Ah, I said wasn't. You know, Angela, I heard this place has an award-winning chef. Two awards, one for perfect attendance and one for mm, free throws. <laughs> Very impressive. Happy anniversary, Tom. Here, for one super awesome year together. Wow, thanks. And for you. <laughs> <laughs> These are the glasses I wanted. And this is the jersey I wanted. You're the best. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. You know, it's funny. I almost forgot our anniversary. So I ended up having to race all over town to find that jersey. What? Me too, with the glasses. And then there was only one left, and Miss Vanthrax bought it first. So I had to make a trade. Me too, with the landlord. I gave up my opera tickets so I could give you that jersey. Me too, with the soccer tickets. Huh? Wait, you gave up the opera tickets? Well, I, I got you those glasses so you could go to the opera. Um, and I got you that jersey so you could wear it to the soccer game. Tom, what did you do? Compromised for us. But you traded the one thing that made my gift good. So why didn't you tell because me? Because I didn't think you'd give away your tickets like a bozo and ruin everything. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like you guys care so much about each other. You both gave up something you love so the other could be happy. Ooh, so romantic. Shut up, Hank. We have to get those tickets back. <laughs> No, no trade backs. Me and my lovely lady have a whole day of fun and romance planned, and it'll be so much better than a shirt, and I wear. Sorry, losers! Oh well, Tom. Maybe we won't totally ruin our next anniversary. If there is a next anniversary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Angela, come on. We can fix this. This is. Kissy nonsense, but seeing you sad makes me want to barf. What are you talking about? Just watch this! This weekend, we're gonna be at the park to give away tickets to the soccer game or the opera gala. All you need to do is win our pasta eating contest. Wow, that's great. I can still get the opera tickets for Angela and prove that I'm a good boyfriend. This is it. The opera is today, so I'm going to eat like there is no tomorrow. All right, pasta munchers. Whoever eats the most before time runs out wins. Ready, set, soar. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Um. We got a pasta man uh -huh. champion of his table. Oh. Now he's got to defeat the champion of table two. What? There's another table? Oh. Yeah. No way. It's you? <sighs> I felt bad about our last fight, and I decided to take this last chance to win your tickets back. That's exactly why I'm here, but for your tickets. I don't believe 
believe it. Once again, we came up with the exact same plan. We really are a bad couple. Wait, this is good. Now we can compromise and get the opera tickets for you. I've got a better idea. How about we compromise and get the soccer tickets for you? Uh, uh, I want you to be happy. Too bad, because I want you to be happy. MC, start that clock. I've got to beat my boyfriend so I can sacrifice my happiness for his. Typical Angela, you are going down. Ah! We got ourselves a chill. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's do this thing. Dating is weird. <laughs> So you get the tickets to the soccer game and the opera! I never want to see pasta again. So, since you don't seem to be able to move, if you're not using the opera tickets, maybe we could... Take them! Tom, those soccer tickets could help a small boy fulfill all his dreams. They're yours. Oh. I guess we're staying home. It's the best compromise of all. 